Okay, so a recent headline in the Atlantic caught our attention. Mm. This is the headline. It's actually by our, our other by guru, our, Arthur, Brooks. Arthur Brooks. The, Brooks. The same one with the pencil. Yeah, I don't like the pencil trick. Uh, you but haven't I, tried it. I don't like it. Don't. Okay, don't, I don't judge. I think you're so supposed you tried, to put remember? lead into your mouth. It's not lead. You're biting on the wood part. Continue. Okay, whatever you do, do mm -hmm. not do the silent treatment. It can ruin your relationships. Yeah, Arthur C. Brooks, we keep bringing him up. He's the guy who wrote, the. he's written a bunch of books from strength to strength, but he wrote the book on happiness with Oprah. He yeah. teaches happiness at Harvard. It's one of the most sought after courses, but he does write about how the silent treatment is bad because of this. Silent treatment inflictors do it because it's a way to avoid conflict while also causing pain. Yeah, it's so interesting because if you've ever kind of thought about your patterns, yeah, which I have. Yeah, me too. One of the things it's called stonewalling. Yeah, and one that. of the things that, and it's not mine. Aren't dramatic. Like I'm not like, I'm not talking to you for four days. I've never been that way. Mm -hmm. But there have been times where I've been a little grumpy at Henry. You've been icing him out. And I've been putting the dishes in the dishwasher, and I hear him say, "Honey, I'm home." And, and I'm like, just kind of grumpy. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And it's not like I don't talk to him the whole night. I do. But I pretend I don't but hear if, the honey, I'm home, which is rude. Well, sometimes you need a second. It's okay. But I do think the people who apply the silent treatment All for, the for years. That's a terrible way to fight. And I used to do some silent treatment stuff. And I don't know if I was conscious of it or I just, yeah. I just, I don't have the words right now. I need a minute. I'm just going to go to sleep. You know, it's yeah. like. That is a that's just a terrible way to do it because it's it is actually really cruel. Yes. And to at least have a, a com to be brave enough to have a conversation and say, look, that hurt my feelings. I'm actually not really in the mood to have a great discussion about it now. But and you can still describe why you might need time a little time by yourself. Yeah.